I'm Jean-Philippe Gibert in a study project. I've noticed that people come into the lab with preconceived notions as to what protists are and about their coolness. And it typically ranks really low, right? And then I produce a dish of water and I'm like, hey, look at this. And then they go like, whoa, inevitable, every single time. I'm what's called a theoretical ecologist, meaning I use math to understand ecological processes, but I've got people in the lab that don't do math at all in that study, only protists and uh, their response to climate change and their effects on other organisms on Earth. So protists are cells. Um, and cells, of course, are very complex biological structures, but at their core, it's just little bags of fluid. But they're alive. They're everywhere. You can find them on a scoop of dirt. You can find them on tap water. If you add all the animals on the planet, you know, by mass, that's a lot of, of biomass, right? Um, if you do the same thing with protists, you get at least twice as much biomass as there are animals in the world. And I'm counting all the cattle. Using protists, we actually showed that it is possible to predict how these organisms will respond to temperature tomorrow based on information that we collect about them today. I have a wet lab, meaning that I can manipulate the conditions under which these organisms uh, grow and are produced. And on top of that, we could actually predict how their CO2 emissions changed with temperature. The prairies themselves, they've been nothing but helpful and they rarely ever uh, generate frustrations. But of course, the process of understanding them and understanding how they respond to climate change, how they influence climate change, that can be tough. Uh, but then at the end of the day, you get to look at protists, and so that's a plus. <laughs>